What's up everybody, I'm Alan Kavana for Speed Sport. I hope you're getting ready for the holidays and you got to work some racing into your schedule. If you missed any of it, you are in the right spot. This is your Gas and Go presented by Cometic Gasket. Let's start in Indiana where smoke rose from the rubble. Yes, it only took six minutes and 53 seconds for native Hoosier Tony Stewart to drive the number two munchkin midget to a dominant victory in the 23rd annual Rumble in Fort Wayne. The 50 lap midget race took place inside the Allen County War Memorial Coliseum. It was Stewart's 12th victory in that facility. We'll go to Illinois now where another NASCAR driver added to his trophy case in this off season. Christopher Bell made his debut for RMS Racing and started third in the eighth annual Jason Leffler Memorial Midget Race. Bell dominated inside the Southern Illinois Center, taking the checkered flag and earning $8,000 as the eighth different winner of the event. Finally, little downtime for NASCAR Cup Series teams this offseason. The team spent two days at Charlotte Motor Speedway last week, continuing to test the next-gen car, which is set to debut in 2022. NASCAR had teams testing different aero packages early in the week, and then had teams make runs at nearly 700 horsepower. NASCAR officials said the higher horsepower will likely be used at a majority of the races next season. Now you're all caught up. Go have yourself a great holiday. For Speed Sport, I'm Alan Kavana. This was your Gas and Go presented by Cometic Gasket. Is your engine sealed by Cometic? Visit Cometic.com. Gas and Go is now available as a podcast, part of the Speed Sport Podcasting Network. To subscribe, just go to SpeedSport.com slash podcasts or your favorite podcasting platform.